Hello and welcome to the Fastlane car. Today we're talking everything Jeep Renegade. Now the Jeep Renegade is the entry level to the Jeep lineup and it can be had in so many configurations. It's pretty mind blowing and very confusing. Well today on the Fastlane car, we're going through everything you need to know about the different versions of the Jeep Renegade and which one is right for you. So to start off with, we need to talk about how the Renegade spans in terms of the Jeep lineup. So it goes all the way from the base model Sport to the top of the line hardcore off-road Trailhawk, which you see behind me, and we'll go into that in a second. Now, first of all, let's talk about powertrains. The Renegade can be had in really two versions, a front wheel drive and an all wheel drive, or as Jeep calls it, a four wheel drive system. Now, the front wheel drive is available all the way from the base model Renegades to the loaded limited Renegade with the exception of the Trailhawk that's only available in the four wheel drive. Now, there are really two engines available for the Renegade. There's a 1.4 liter turbocharged four cylinder. Sorry guys, I've got my notes here. There's just a lot of information. And a 2.4 liter naturally aspirated four cylinder. The 1.4 liter turbo develops 160 horsepower and the 2.4 liter naturally aspirated develops 180 horsepower. The 1.4 liter, as far as I can tell based off the build and configuration area of the Renegade Jeep sites, um, you can only get that 1.4 liter with the C635 six-speed manual transmission in both front wheel and four wheel drive form. And the 2.4 liter is only available in the 948TE nine-speed automatic in both the front wheel drive and four wheel drive form. When it comes to trims, typically across the line, with the exception of the Trailhawk, which is only four wheel drive, all wheel drive or four wheel drive is gonna be about a $2,000 markup on top of a front wheel drive Renegade. Let's start diving into those many, many, many trims. At the very baseline of the Renegade lineup, we've got what's called the Sport. And I'm gonna give you guys these prices, the base prices for each trim of the four wheel drive model. So the Sport will start out at $19,995 here in the US with four wheel drive. Here's some of those features. It gives you a 1.4 liter multi-air standard, 16 inch steel wheels, they're black painted, a 3.5 inch instrument cluster display, remote keyless entry with a panic button, height adjustable cargo floor, power windows, and then steering wheel audio controls. So moving up from the sport trim, you'll find the Latitude. So now the Latitude also comes standard with the 1.4 liter multi-air. That's gonna come in at a starting price of $23,495. On top of the sport, you're gonna get some 16 inch aluminum wheels instead of the steel, a leather wrapped steering wheel, park view, backup camera, a five inch Uconnect with hands-free calling and fog lamps. So those are some nice features, but you do pay a big premium on top of the sport. Kind of the luxury end of the Renegade lineup, we've got the Limited. So the Limited comes standard with the 2.4 liter Tiger Shark engine, um, starting price of about $27,195. So if our four wheel drive Renegade started at $19,995, we're over $7,000 above that price. So for that, you're gonna get 18 inch aluminum wheels, heated leather with power adjustment, a seven inch um, instrument display cluster, passive entry and remote start, and dual zone automatic climate. Now in terms of the Trailhawk behind me, that's kind of a whole nother animal. That starts at $26,895 and you get a lot more features in terms of the off-road world when compared to a standard Renegade. So first off, you get red tow hooks, two in the front, one in the rear. You get a 0.8 of an inch lift. You have more underbody protection. You've got a slightly different four wheel drive system with a rock mode and then a four wheel drive low, which really just locks it in first, but they do call it that four wheel drive low. Uh, 2.4 liter Tiger Shark is the only engine available as with a nine speed in the Trailhawk. Um, you get a bunch of unique decals. It's just a, a, a much more off-road bred vehicle. You got different wheels, different tires that are more off-road suited, full size spare. But let's start diving into some of the options that I think are worthwhile and some that maybe you want to pass on. Starting with that base model Sport. You really can't get anywhere in the Sport without an option called the Power, Air, and Group. Now, interestingly, if you get a stripper Sport model, it doesn't include AC. So that Power, Air, and Group gives you AC, heated mirrors, and cruise control. Um, these are things that you really think would be standard for $19,995 in a four-wheel drive Sport, but they're not and that's gonna cost you $1,495. So $1,500 for AC, heated mirrors, crews. These are really things I think you want if you're gonna look for a higher resale value on your Renegade going down the future, and plus it's nice to have air conditioning in the hot summers. So there is a 2.4 liter um, 
Tiger Shark available even on the Sport. Uh, of course, only with that 9-speed automatic transmission. That's going to be right around $1,300 for that 2.4 liter and the automatic. So here's some more kind of cool options. The Sport Appearance Group, that's $625. You can only get this group once again if you get the power and air group. But that includes 16 by 6.5 aluminum wheels, which look nice over the stock painted black steel wheels. You get uh, black roof rails and a deep tint. Of course, if you want that sport appearance group, you're going to have to go for that $1,500 power and air group. Uh, there's an interior protection package, um, which gives you nicer mats. It's $250. Uh, these are kind of small things. An interior package with the 2.4 liter that gives you like bright pedals um, and premium mats. Uh, okay. More useful features on the base model sport. The five inch Uconnect with satellite and backup camera. The base radio in the Renegade is kind of small, chintzy, doesn't have a ton of adjustability or options. I do like having that backup camera, that's nice, and the addition of satellite radio as an option with this five inch Uconnect, $895. So the sport appearance group and the five inch Uconnect for the sport model are definitely something I'd look into, as well as a full size spare. You're getting a Jeep, you're going to get a Jeep in four-wheel drive, get the full-size spare for $295. It could really save you a big headache down the road if you're stuck in the middle of nowhere and you need a real full-size tire, say, if you're off-road. Now, the other option that's pretty much available across the entire Renegade lineup is some sort of MySky roof. And I say some sort because there's really two versions. In the Sport, MySky includes these fixed panels, which are above the driver and then the rear passenger head, and they just pull out. So it's kind of like a freedom top on a Wrangler. It gives you a convertible-esque feeling. Pretty cool. They're a little bit big and cumbersome, so you have to know or have room to put them either in the trunk or leave them in your garage, but it gives you more of a convertible-like feeling. Um, that's going to be $1,000, uh, and it's going to need the addition of the Sport Appearance Group as well. So that is pretty much the end of the Sport trim options. Now let's move on to Latitude. So Latitude is kind of the middle line Renegade. Uh, once again, the 1.4 liter is standard on the Latitude, a 2.4 is available. Now interestingly, if you price out your Latitude on the Jeep Build website, you'll see that the 2.4 liter is $1,530, but you'll find pretty quickly it's actually $1,735 because that requires a start-stop feature, which is right around $200 extra. So really it's $1,700 if you want the 2.4 liter. The first group that I'm strongly recommending for the Latitude is the Trailer Tow Group. Uh, includes a full-size spare, a class three hitch, and a four-pin connector. That's going to be four hundred ninety-five dollars. It's nice to have. It's nice to have a trailer tow group from the factory, especially with Jeeps. You may need it down the road. The next option you'll see available on a Latitude trim is the Safety and Security Group. That's going to give you. Um, blind spot monitoring, cross traffic detection, um, HID lights, rain sensing wipers, and an alarm system that's $945. And if you want to equip more on top of that with the advanced tech group for another $995, you can get auto high beams, collision warning, lane departure warning, and park sense parking sensors. So um, these are really two packages, but you can't get the advanced tech group without first getting the safety and security group. I would look into the safety and security group. I like the blind spot monitoring, I like the HID, and I like the rain sensing wipers. So that's $945. The tech group, the other $995 option on top of that. Um, auto high beams, I'm not a big fan of. Collision warnings, all right. Lane departure warning is a little bit annoying. And then park sense, it's a small Jeep. I think it will be pretty easy to park anyways. So I would probably skip the advanced tech group on the latitude. One package I would get though is the popular equipment group. This gives you a 115 volt outlet, 40-20-40, um, split rear seats, auto dual climate control um, for the front passengers which is nice, power seats and an auto dimming rear view mirror for $645. There's a lot of bang for your buck in the popular equipment group which is probably why it's popular. Other things you may want to look into are the six and a half inch Uconnect. Uh, that gives you a 7-inch cluster screen um, by the gauges. It gives you navigation, USB connectivity, but it's expensive, $1,345. I'd probably just stick with the 5-inch system. There's also an 18-inch aluminum wheel option for $595 for the Latitude. A full-size spare, $295 to get the full-size spare. And then now we have two new options, Beats Premium Audio. Um, I have not personally used the Beats Premium Audio on full blast. I've never heard its full potential, but it's $695 if you want it. 
and my sky is now 1495 on the latitude but you do get a power feature where it acts as a big sunroof if you wanted to or you can pull the panels out as you would with the my sky fix panels Moving on to the top of the line trim level on the Renegade, the Limited. This is kind of the luxury model. Uh, it's only available in 2.4 liter. No 1.4 liter option, no manual option. The trailer tow group, $495. Safety and security group, like the Latitude, $895. So $100 cheaper than in the Latitude, really. Um, and then the advanced tech group, $995. Those include pretty much the same stuff. 18 inch polished aluminum wheels. If you don't like the 18 inch wheels that already come on the Limited, those are $395. There's the option for Beats for $695. The Power My Sky for $1495. And the 6.5 inch Uconnect GPS for $1245, this time in the Limited. Um, so the Limited already starts at $27,195. You get the leather, you get some more color options as well for that leather. Uh, you get kind of this gray with this, this orange piping, which is pretty cool if you want it. Now, moving on to the Trailhawk. The Trailhawk is really a whole other animal in terms of options. It's really almost like a separate lineup within the Renegade itself because there's just so many mechanical differences in terms of affordability between the Trailhawk and then a non-Trailhawk Renegade. So first off, Trailer Tow Group, $395 on a, on a Trailhawk. I think that might be because um, the trailer tow group usually includes a full-size spare tire, but the Trailhawk already has a full-size spare tire, so it's a little bit cheaper. Safety and security is $895. That's the same stuff. There's something called the Premium Trailhawk Group, which is 40-20-40 split seats, auto dual air conditioning, climate control in the front, heated seats, and a heated steering wheel. Pretty cool stuff. Leather power seats, auto dimming rear view mirror, a windshield wiper de-icer, but it all comes at a cost. $1,600 for the premium Trailhawk group. Now I really don't care so much about some of this stuff like the automatic dual climate controls in the front, so I would look at something called the Cold Weather Group 2, which includes heated seats, um, a heated steering wheel, and windshield wiper defroster for $545. There's the passive entry and remote start for $205, and then the popular equipment group this time includes 40-20-40 split seats, the automatic dual zone climate, power seats, We will also find the option for the Beats Audio, um, the MySky Power, again on the Trailhawk. And that's pretty much the Trailhawk options gone through. Now there are two special editions of the Renegade, the Altitude, which is essentially a latitude with some black accents, uh, shiny black wheels, and MySky, and then the Desert Hawk, which is like a kind of like a almost a camo version of the Trailhawk. Um, it's got a map on the hood of some desert, uh, that's 28,390 starting. Uh, but we're not going to go too far into those because the special editions change a lot. They're, they're like limited editions in the Renegade lineup. So what would I recommend in terms of what's right for you? Honestly, the one I would get would be the base model Sport with four-wheel drive, of course. The 1.4 liter multi-air with the six-speed manual. You can only get the multi-air with the manual. You can only get the 2.4 liter Tiger Shark with the automatic. I would get that 1.4 liter with the manual. In the sport model trim, I don't need all these fancy goodies on my Jeep. I want it to be kind of tough and rugged. I would definitely get the AC group on my sport model. Um, probably the sport appearance group just because it makes it look a little bit nicer, a little bit more classy even though I know it's a Jeep. But it, it's still, I like those 16 inch aluminum wheels on the black roof rails. Um, and then the full size spare because uh, that's important to me if I'm going to be taking it even mild off-roading. In terms of the latitude, I like the trailer tow group because that gives you the full size spare and then the hitch. I don't know if I'll be towing, but it might be nice to know that I could tow if I needed to. I might go for the popular equipment group because it gives you um, some nice things like power seats, which I like if I wanted a, a more luxurious Jeep. Forgo the 18 inch aluminum wheels and the latitude, I think it might give it a little bit of a harder ride. And the 16 inch look pretty cool. Take a look for yourself. And then the limited model. Uh, I can't get the 1.4 turbo, which I like having up here at altitude in the limited. It's just a little bit pricey without the off-road goodies of the Trailhawk. Um, I might start looking at something like a Compass or, a, or, or even a, a Cherokee at that price. And then the Trailhawk is, is pretty badass. I wish they offered the Trailhawk with that 1.4 liter turbo and a manual, but you can only get it in the 2.4 in an automatic. That's kind of a shame. I really would like to roll my own gears when I'm off-roading this thing. 
Um, but it's, it's a pretty good deal. We've had some fun with it off-road. We just did a video actually where we compared it to a Jeep Compass Trailhawk off-road. Be sure to take a look at that. Now in terms of colors available on the, the Renegade, it, it depends based on trims, but there's a black, there's a granite, there's an anvil, there's this cool jet set blue, a Colorado red. Uh, you Wrangler fans might recognize this one, Omaha orange. This color is solar yellow. Looks pretty cool on a Trailhawk, it's pretty bright. bright. Hyper green, uh, glacier metallic, which is like a silver, and then an alpine white. Uh, my favorite, I, I do kind of like the yellow, honestly. It, it really does pop on this Trailhawk. And then I like the, the jet set blue, the dark blue, especially with the 16 inch black steel wheels on the Sport. That's a pretty cool look. In terms of mileage in four wheel drive, you'll see the 1.4 liter with the six speed manual will deliver 24 MPG city, 31 highway, and the 2.4 with the nine speed automatic will deliver 21 city, 29 highway for all wheel drive, or 22 city, 30 MPG highway for front wheel drive. Well guys, I hope I've cleared up some confusion on the Renegade trims. Let me know what you think. Let me know which Renegade is right for you, which one you have, and how you like it. I'll see you guys next time, and keep on jeeping.